I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in then. <laughs> Squeeze banana. Pretty good. Uh, Felix the mate, that's not even possible. Felix the mate said Derek found a loophole. He's a member on both channels. He submitted four videos. How could he have submitted four videos as a member when the membership only counts on one channel? He couldn't have nominated videos on the other channel. What are you talking about? It is possible if you're a channel member of DSP Gaming, you can nominate four videos. You nominate two as a member and two as a standard viewer. That is possible. So essentially, members get four nominations, standard viewers get two. That is correct. That's how the system works. But it has nothing to do with him being a member on DSP Reacts. That's complete nonsense. <laughs> complete, complete foolishness. Stop making stuff up. Thanks, Derek. Um, let's see here. Tingus Pingus says, Do you think you look better now after watching the 15-year montage? You miss being a little chunky and having the old hairstyle? I mean, first of all, I've already explained this to you guys. Okay, really. I've explained this to you guys. I'll explain it again. I don't think I look good. I don't think no matter what I do to myself, to improve, to lose weight, to, you know what I mean, my hair, my dress, I don't, nothing in my mind will ever say I look good. Because I have this negative stigma in my head that's stuck that I've had since high school. All right? This, these messed up, kind of messed up things, psychological things that happened to me that made me feel like I'm just ugly, no matter what. Learn to get bullied. Beginning people isn't the answer. Take the bullying. Wow. No. How about, fuck you. How about, I have the right to be respected as a human like everyone else on this planet. Most of all, inside my own place of business. And if you don't like that, you can go fuck off and kiss my ass. How about that? Thanks for the $4 tip, by the way. All right, we're up to $83 of tips tonight. And I felt that way my whole life. And I, even being married and having a wife who loves me and tells me all the time she thinks I look good, I, I still have these horrible feelings in my head that tell me I'm ugly. You understand? Like, it's never going to go away. That's just something I'm going to live with for the rest of my life. All right? So when you ask me, do you think I look better today than I did? I don't fucking think I look anything. I look like, I think I look like a turd. Really. Like, I don't, I, I have that in my head and there's nothing you can do. When you get that, sadly, it's a mental thing. When you have that, you'll never, you'll never really get that out of there. It sucks. But people have told me since the digital summer party, right? When I washed my hair before that stream, when I put on a different style of shirt, that I was looking better. People in the last year have complimented me and says, wow, you look like you lost a lot of weight. I mean, I did. You're the ones lying. I used to be, look at that 15 year montage, the 15 year time lapse. When I started, I was 240 pounds. 240. Guess how much I weigh today? Around 200. That's a 40 pound difference. That's a huge difference. You see how blobulous and disgusting I was wearing those t-shirts back then. I don't look like that anymore. I lost all of that weight. You know, I don't have to suck in my gut to look normal anymore. I actually kind of just look normal, which is nice. My ideal weight, I was told when I was younger, was 185 pounds. So I'm still around 15 pounds overweight. I could lose that if I continuously worked out or ate even a little better. I don't really have motivation to do that. I'm 36 years old, guys. I'm not 20 years old, you know. I have to get up and move around and do physical activity and do other things. Like, I really don't. Like, I don't really have the motivation to be like ideal right now because what, what's the point? I sit around all day in a fucking chair streaming video games. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not looking, I'm not full of myself. I don't think of myself as a, a specimen of physical fitness. I don't describe my appeal as crispy. I don't talk about my my abs and my, my marshmallow fluff complexion. I don't care about these things. I think that they're completely superfluous to anything important in, in life, really. I mean, to some extent, physical fitness is very important. As you get older, you need to be physically fit so you don't get overweight, you don't have a heart attack, stuff like that. But outside of that... Dude, I look so stupid. I look like a fat fuck. This looks so bad, dude. Look. I don't give shit about that stuff, you know? Again, no matter what I do, I don't think I'll look good, all right? So, do I think I look better today? I, I don't think so at all, but you guys have told me I do. Like, people watch that time lapse and literally said oh my god Phil looks way better today than he did 15 years ago it's like he reversed most people they look better when they're younger and they look much worse as they age he's looks better as he's aged like I'd rather look at Phil today than 15 years ago <clears throat> there you go that's what people are saying I don't really believe him I don't give a fuck all right you know I don't give a fuck yeah JDTV that was the big thing 
that Vizant LTG rivalry from like 10 years ago is literally the reason why LTG won't do shit on, online anymore. Like, basically, that was when he originally started talking big shit, and then he got bodied by Vizant, and because of that, he will never challenge anyone, like, ever again, because he knows if he loses... <laughs> it, let me put it this way. It's remarkable that LTG has the following he has, because already he's basically been clowned on so bad in the Street Fighter community. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was destroyed by Vizant, he's banned from EVO, so, the fact that he gets following and support for fighting game streams is remarkable. You actually have to applaud the guy. Because this guy has been stomped on into mud, turned into paste by the FGC, but he still makes money on fighting games. So, if anything is to be applauded, that's it. He's found a way, he's found his niche to make money and be popular despite the fact that the actual mainstream FGC hates his guts. All right? So I'll give credit where credit is due. But that literally, that visa match is the reason he will not ever fight someone again. That, it crushed his him so hard. It, you know, you don't all crush the gems. Oh, his gems were crushed a long time ago. This guy has no gems. He has no jewels. All right, he's jewelless. <laughs> he has nothing. He, oh, I have nothing to gain. Wow, you have no pride. You have no, but you seem to have tons of pride when it comes to your looks, something you didn't earn. But when it comes to something you need to earn, like skill in a fighting game, you have no pride. That's interesting. Yet that's what you're known for, and that's what you make your money on, right? So, pretty crazy. Um, but, it, hey, power to the guy. But the do, the deal is, if he's going to talk shit to me about my appearance, he better be ready to get it back. He got it back, and he didn't say diddly dick because he knows he can't say shit because he fucking basically got destroyed. And It's that simple. He's not going to play me. He's not going to do nothing. He's just going to sit there on his streams flailing around in two-star diamond, getting scrubbed out constantly, and somehow getting 2,000 viewers doing it. More power to you. G. Woody, you're talking to the wrong person. He's like, you guys should do the grudge match. Do you not understand that I'm the one who laid down the challenge publicly, that I'm the one who would love to do it? After years of everyone asking me to do it, I want to do it, and he won't do it. He, will, he just wants to sit there on his ass this weekend doing nothing. Instead of actually fucking doing something for Evo and getting hype and getting views and making money and being pertinent for once, he wants to sit there on his ass and do nothing and do his usual scrubby shit. So, oh well, scrub out. I don't. Here's the thing: I don't understand why it's a big deal. Even if he loses, who cares? No one thinks of LTG or DSP as good Street Fighter players. You understand that? No one. Literally, no one looks at us and says good Street Fighter players. But the fact that you'd have two guys who've been in, in, ingrained in this stupid internet drama for over a decade playing each other during EVO weekend, that's hype. That would get people excited. Like I said, literally, if it's EVO quals going on and we were doing it, people would say, fuck the quals and open their phones and watch our grudge match. But this guy doesn't get it. He lives in his own fucking world, his own bubble. He doesn't get that no one cares about his looks. He actually thinks people do. He doesn't understand the reality of who he is and you know what's going on around him. That he could get some big hype around him if he would just stop being puss about it. No one cares about the Vazan match. No one. Because no one takes him seriously as a fighting game player. No one takes me seriously either. So just do the fucking match and have some fun and get hype around it, you know? No. 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 We're not going to do that. This is hilarious. Gublino says he apparently makes more money than you. I will absolutely positively guarantee you he does not make more money than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking ludicrous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Even with all those paid subs that he claims that he gets on Twitch and shit. No. Sorry. What happened to the 2K? Well, let's see. The 2K was raised over a month ago, and it paid for stuff. I swear people are just so nosy. Like, oh, Phil raised some money on a stream last month. Where did the money go? I paid for stuff with it. What do you think I did with it? I burned it. I ate it. I, you know, I, I used it to pay down debt. And now... I'm out of money and I need more money to pay the debt again. That's how it works. 